Ah, it's the second day of fall. A crisp autumn morning. It's pleasantly chilly outside. It's only 97 on the bus? Come on, man. How am I supposed to get any work done around here? And Nathan's coming today. He's actually a pretty good helper. We're gonna get some work done. I'll show you what we're gonna do. So I did this. I walled in two windows. That's what it looks like before the plywood goes up. One, two, three, four windows to go. Also, we did this, everybody. Oh, so smooth. Oh yeah, for the record, it's not a crisp autumn morning. It's 82 degrees outside. It's perfect. Would like to get that shade back. Ah, isn't that just wonderful? I'm sweating already. Dang it. All right, Nate, welcome back. Hi. We're gonna do this and that over there. First thing we're gonna do out is we're gonna trim all of these out. Then we're going to take, I'll be right back. Some three quarter inch rigid foam board, some half inch rigid foam board insulation, cut them to the right size and push them in between pieces of trim stud things that we made. Okay. All right, now next, we are gonna cut plywood to perfectly fit the hole that's left. And when I say perfectly, I mean... Did I get it? I will do that to you again. <sighs> He's marking stuff. You gonna do this one? What? Cut it. Uh, Put a hand right there. Okay. So it's really easy. All you do is... Easy, right? Yeah. So we basically want to leave the line because the saw blade is, an eight, is a sixteenth of an inch thick and the pencil is like close to sixteenth of an inch. If you cut down that line, it's going to be like a little bit short. You want it to be a little bit long. Just barely though. Basically, I walked in. He's like, "What did you say?" And I was like, "Oh, okay." And he's like, "Then I said, oh, oh, where? Where about?" He's like, "Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you're gonna be one of those people that's like, I'm from Cherry Hill." Dude, he's just like me, man. He's like, when people come in here, no, listen, DBs. That guy's from Rehoboth. <laughs> Loggerheads, that guy's from Cape May, New Jersey. I gotta go bond with this guy. I turn around and says, you eat yet? It's a Paisano's t-shirt. A Paisano's t-shirt? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I said, where's your cheesesteak spot? To be honest with you? Oh, cheesesteaks? I don't eat cheesesteaks, bro. When I left, he said, see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's a good Italian hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> Fluffy. Really good job though. Look at that clean line. Show me. Yeah, you can't see on camera, but it's perfect. Yes, you did great. You did great. You just gotta make it fit. So there you have it. That's our insulated window walls. Just shove it in. Oh, this is the one I cut. Oh yeah, good job. Sort of. The thing is that nothing is square in the bus anymore because I built it. So why would it be square anymore? <laughs> I'm not mad about it, it's just, it's just life. So my next cut, which is gonna span this whole 95 inches is 34 and 7 eighths, 235 and 1 16th. And that's approximate. So if I hit those dimensions, the piece should be close to fitting. Just make it fit guys, I don't know. <laughs> Just funny thing, carpentry. Every other piece I made ended up too tight. Like this piece, too tight. I had to do all this trimming. Same over here for the most part. And then this one is off by like, like a whole eighth of an inch. So, done is better than perfect, right? like Nate left me a little message. So I messed that one up. I am not gonna mess this one up. I'm gonna prove to you guys that I can do it. Last piece up too, which means I let you down. 
But you know what? I'm actually extremely proud of myself because I am doing this without a lot of experience and I'm actually happy with the job that I'm doing. In the moment, I'm like disappointed in myself because I know I can do better, but I'm also really happy with myself that I'm doing it, that I'm accepting my imperfections. So life lessons I need to learn, you know? But I can tell you actually why the, like why this happened. So these pieces right here were too tight. These pieces right here were too loose, too loose. And the reason is, on these pieces, I cut on the inside of my clamped board with my circular saw. These pieces, I cut on the outside of my clamped board with the circular saw. And so, basically, my saw management, like I'm not accounting for the saw blade, or I'm not measuring right. I mean, you guys see how I'm doing this work. Like, it's not the right way. It's not the woodworker's way. It's just the way that I have available to me. It's the quick and dirty way. Yeah. So there you have it. These are walled in and I'm thinking about covering this and this next and maybe that and then maybe that and then maybe that and then maybe that and that. Okay, just kidding. We're done. I'm thinking about doing a Q&A, so if you have a question for me, ask it in the comments section. Yeah, what are you curious about? What do you want to know? I have lots to tell. Peace.